This is despicable. There's no place in America. There's too much violence, political violence, too much hatred, too much vitriol. Too much political violence, too much hatred. This is the man who just gave a speech in front of an infernal red backdrop calling half the country fascists whose very existence poses a threat to our sacred democracy who need to be completely written out of politics. This is the man whose party has not only called for but enacted political violence for years now, which burned half the country down in 2020, where Chuck Schumer, we're talking about major Democrats here, Chuck Schumer called and said, watch out, Justice Gorsuch, watch out, Justice Kavanaugh, we're coming for you, we're going to unleash the whirlwind. Hillary Clinton says you can't be civil with your political opponents. Maxine Waters says you got to push back on Republicans when you find them in public spaces and tell them they're not wanted here and then go to their homes where their children sleep and yell outside of their windows. This is the Democrat party that that was protesting illegally outside of the, the Supreme Court justices' homes after they illegally leaked the, the Supreme Court decision in the Dobbs case. And then one of these people went and tried to assassinate Brett Kavanaugh. This is the party where after their foot soldiers went out and, and burned things down and killed people and looted and rioted, where the sitting vice president of the United States right now, uh, Kamala Harris, bailed them out of jail, bailed the violent people out of jail, and where staffers for Joe Biden himself sent out that same bail link to bail out the rioters, to get them back on the street, to commit more violence against Republicans. It's just complete BS. It's so disingenuous. I don't want to hear a word from Joe Biden on political violence.